What I have for you today is a brass old style Yale lock. This is a very old lock. Uh, it is made in the USA, as you can see there. And one thing about it is it has a very tight keyway. So trying to use my regular uh, pick that I got um, from that set on Amazon, uh, I found that when I put the uh, turning tool in, which, you know, fit, fit quite easily, the getting the pick in was tough. It's just not enough room, um, top and bottom. Um, so to single pin pick this one, I'm going to use a different uh, pick. This is a very small and uh, 25 thousandths, but it's just very small profile, top and bottom. I got this from the lock picking lawyer. The uh, this is his covert companion. They call it. And it's about a hundred bucks, and it comes with a whole variety of tools in there. So I highly recommend it. It's nice and portable. I'm gonna go ahead and single pin pick this lock. It has a it has a nice feel to it, the spring tension. I'm just gonna put a light tension on there and start from the back. The only thing about this companion is that it it has a bend, so you end up using it like a pistol grip, like this, and it's a little, little more difficult to get a good feel for how things are going. Okay, got a nice big uh, turn there. These locks do have spools and other um, security type pins compared to like a master lock, but yeah, I got definitely, I got a good. Nope, oh, there we go. So that opened pretty easy, um, but these do have security pins. So as you're picking this, you'll feel a lot of movement in your tension bar and then uh, got it open here. I think it just needed to be uh, coaxed on the back two pins and I believe it has four pins in it. So that's it, that's all I have for you today. Um, if you're looking for some lock picking kits, I'll put links in the description and otherwise, as always, have a great day.